Um, but then they'll point out, well, there was only one time ever that a human being uh, where we found any sort of cardiac effect and it was in your testing. So tell us about that. Yeah. So that, I don't remember the year exactly. It might've been around 2012 or so. There was a product coming online called the X3. It was a three shot uh, weapon that we were, uh, you know, just a little background about the testing that we do. Um, the testing that I've been involved in has gotten to the point even back then where it's sort of a four pronged phase gated process where any new weapons need to go through this process and pass each of those on a go no go basis before they will be allowed to be released in public. The X3 at the time was undergoing that testing. Uh, what we found was that we were able to cause what was called cardiac capture in one of our human subjects. Um, that's obviously very concerning. Uh, it's not uh, it, it's not lethal, but it shows that the uh, device is putting out enough energy to potentially reach the heart on somebody who is, um, you know, of a certain body habitus. And so we studied that case uh, quite, um, quite vigorously, and we went back and advised the company about that. Uh, the company went back with its engineers uh, and did some uh, further testing and modifications to that device. We then retested it under the same circumstances. We're unable to find the uh, find the similar results. Hmm. 